Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to discuss Project Lemonade, the new successor to Citra for playing 3DS games on Android. This new version not only aims to be a continuation of Citra but also to incorporate the best features from the Citra versions available on the official channel, along with the Citra MMJ versions, known for offering a lighter experience on less powerful devices. Recently, there was a statement that no new versions would be released until significant changes were made. However, to everyone's surprise, an alpha version was released today, bringing some improvements that were not yet present in the official Citra. Let's examine these changes and see how Project Lemonade is progressing. Several implementations and fixes have been made in Project Lemonade to improve the player experience. Among the highlights are Opacity control for players using on-screen controls Option to rotate the screen, providing greater flexibility Fixes for random crashes when closing games Memory leak resolution, enhancing stability Merging of open commits to ensure smoother integration Introduction of the new core down count hack Reducing CPU usage by up to 15% Implementation of the Y2R hack Aimed at fixing issues in FIFA series games Bug fixes related to Mali GPUs Improving compatibility Addition of the Lemon Tweaks menu Offering options such as FMB hack Skip slow draw hack And skip texture copy hack Promises of more options in this menu soon. Enhancement of shader compilation process for more efficient execution. Overhaul of external folders for better integration with the project. Complete rebranding, ensuring that installing Lemonade will not replace your previous Citra version. Additionally, the team is seeking developers to begin porting a new version for PC, aiming to further expand the project's reach. As always, we're here to test and share the latest improvements in emulators. But before we dive into the results, don't forget to leave a like for more emulation content and subscribe to stay updated on the latest developments. All tests were conducted with the internal resolution multiplier set to 5, using the Vulkan API, and other options configured with the defaults. If you notice any tearing during the tests, it's due to the limitation of my capture card, which supports only 30 FPS. FIFA 15, now considered playable, was tested without issues. Marcelo. Kirby Planet Robobot also showed good performance, occasionally reaching 95% of real speed. Lowering the internal resolution to 4x would easily resolve this, as on my device, the difference above 3x is practically imperceptible. Mario Kart 7 maintained a steady 60 FPS throughout, with no visual artifacts or issues during gameplay. Smash Brothers, with its large number of shaders, ran most of the time at about 95% of full speed. Lowering the resolution would solve any FPS issues if necessary. Lastly, Sonic Generations exhibited noticeable input delay, along with a considerable time to compile the initial shaders. However, after this step, the game became playable. The application seems to be well optimized, especially in games like FIFA, which now runs without the need for configured hacks. By the middle of next week, I'll be comparing the new versions of Lemonade with the latest versions of Citra and Citra MMJ to determine which offers the best performance. Thank you for watching, and until the next video,